Hello and welcome back to the Android Developer Video Handbook. In the previous lesson we showed you how to use Flash CS5 to render out a .apk file which is the kind of file that you must load up onto an Android operating system as an application so it'll install and everybody can use it. So what we're going to show you how to do is, and in the video before that we showed you how to use Eclipse and Java to do the same thing, to render out that completed .apk file which is your Android application. So in this video what we're going to show you how to do is actually test it out on your personal mobile phone or whatever device you're using. This one's using Froyo 2.2, so that's what I'm going to be testing on. And that's what I rendered out my application. I targeted Android 2.2 when I rendered out my APK files. So before you load up anything to the market online, you really want to put your APK files on your personal device and test out how they're going to work. Because you can try them out in an emulator and that's all good. But really you want to see how it works for real. So let's show you how to mount it up. First, you get your USB cable from your computer and plug it and plug it into your phone. Then you give it a second. If that window pops up, you can just close it. Because what you want to do is give it a second and allow your phone to recognize the computer connection. And in a moment, a screen will pop up any day now. Just give it a moment to recognize it. There it goes. When you see that, just click connect USB storage button there and then OK. Now the phone is connected to the computer through the file systems. Now you can just put your phone down. And now we'll get on the screen so we can have a closer look at what we have to do here. Okay, now simply just open folder to view files so you can view the file system. So this is the window, that removable disk H, right there in its main root directory is where I'm going to add my two APK files to test out. The one I made in Flash here and the one I made in Eclipse and Java here. So first let's grab the flash, the .apk file. Copy. And now let's place it in your phone's file system. So right here just right click and paste. So now I have a hello world flash.apk in there. And now I can double click this one, grab that one, copy. This one was made in Eclipse and Java. Right click and in the phone file system, paste it. So now I have two APK files sitting there. Okay, now let's unplug the phone from the USB cable. And what you want to do is find your My Files folder. I keep mine right there. You can see it, that little orange folder. I keep it right on the first page of my phone when my phone opens up. But if yours is not showing, you can go down to Applications. And then somewhere in there, you'll see a little folder that says My Files. I can see it right there. And if I click that, you see those two on top? Hello world flash.apk. I hope that's not blurry. Hello world.apk and hello world flash.apk. You can see it's right there in the file system. So let's do the flash one first. And here we are. We're going to install it now. It says hello world flash. Do you want to install this application? Install. And there you go. Now we're going to open it and it's going to prompt us to install Adobe Air because all flash Android applications require Adobe Air to run so you just press install and anybody with an Android phone can install Adobe Air and it just takes a second so right up here it takes you to the market and you press install accept permissions OK and then if you pull down your tab up top you'll see that Adobe Air right there on top Adobe Air is downloading and this is a required step for running flash applications that are created through Adobe Air through Flash CS 5.5 now Adobe Air is successfully installed I'm also going to install the other one, the Hello World APK that we created in Eclipse and Java. So let's open that one now. So you can see it says, I don't know if you can see that, but that's my application. It says Hello World. That's the one we created in Eclipse and Java. Now we can back out of that and go to the home. In applications, you should have both of those in your apps now. There's Hello World Flash and Hello World regular. I'm going to click Hello World Flash. And that's the Hello World I made in Flash. And you can see it's animated. And Flash is cool like that. So just keep in mind that any apps that you want to put on your phone that are created through Adobe Air, the user has to have Adobe Air installed on their phone. Which you saw the process is very easy, painless and quick. And now they can have extra cool Flash animations and applications running on their phone. Okay.